Mr. Bigley. Hey there guys and gals, it's Grabeagly with another episode of Gaming with Grabeagly and I'm once again playing the game Corpse Party. Now I'm so excited because the last episode things started picking up a little bit. We uh, fell down a big hole, there was an earthquake at the academy, uh, it knocked everyone down this giant chasm and they all got separated. And then we got into this weird little room with this eyeball where I got to inspect everyone and basically get their bios. So let's go ahead though and continue end character introductions and return to game. Absolutely game. Let's get started. So Seiko and uh, Naomi, which I found it, it's not Naomi, it's Naomi in Japanese, uh, are okay. trapped together. And Naomi just seems like a badass. Even though she's scared inside, she is forcing herself to be more of a, a badass. Oh, wait a sec. Oh, what's going on? Another earthquake. Are we going to fall farther? Uh, is it over? Woo! And once again, I'm not reading everything out loud that they're saying. I'm just reading uh, some of it. Let's get out of this room. Probably a good idea, guys. Alright, this hallway looks totally different than it did before. Yeah, that's actually a good point, Seiko. Or Psycho. Seiko? Psycho? I don't know how to say her name yet. Can we jump over this? The gap is relatively narrow here. It seems crossable, but it's a little too wide to risk jumping. Ah, oh, that's too bad. All right, that's fine. Let's just wander around. What's in this bucket? Anything? There's a yellow fluid congealing inside the rusted bucket. Ew. Pee? <laughs> that's exactly what I was going to ask. Was it pee? Ew, don't say that. All right, so uh, it looks like uh, they both have HP. I'm actually going to turn down the music a little bit. Just because that is rocking my ears. There we go. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yay. Thank you. All right. Anyway, returning to the game. <laughs> Let's see if we can jump across here. Nope. Can't jump across that one either. So I guess we'll just enter the bottom of the classroom. Now we are at Heavenly Host, for those of you who forgot. Um, which is apparently the elementary school which was uh, just, like haunted um, in the ghost story that was being told in the first episode by Ayumi. Something wrong with your leg. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Naomi is hurt because she sprained her ankle when she fell. So this is gonna be bad because Naomi won't be able to run. I hopefully can get a run option at some point because I believe uh, I believe things chase you in this game, but I I'm not 100% sure. Like I said, I have no idea about this game. Uh, I have very very limited knowledge about Corpse Party as a series entirely. All right. Yeah. Oh, that's nice of you. I'm sure, Naomi appreciates being able to lean on you. There's a loose board lying on the ground here. Take it with you. Oh uh, yeah. Sweet. All right, and I bet we can use this across gaps. That's how it's going to work. That's how this game is. And for some reason, once again, even though there's chairs and tables that are easily liftable, we can't lift them. I don't know if I want to go up or down. Oh, man, I'm so oh, I'm so curious about both directions, obviously. Yeah, totally would support your weight. Yeah, let's give it a try. New sport has been set in place. Hell yeah. And we got a cross with no issue. Can we grab it? We can't, like, grab it? That's kind of annoying. You'd think you'd, they'd want to take it in case there's more gaps coming up. Like that one right there. All right, do we want to go to this big? Let's go to the big room first. Oh, it's a staircase with chairs in the way. Oh, no, not chairs. Our greatest weakness. We can't move them. Now, this game is starting off a little bit slower than I thought it would, but... Oh, or it's a creepy room with scary noises. Oh! Ah! Don't do that! Don't yell like that! <laughs> oh, shit! Yeah, that's totally people bones. Oh! Oh! Wh wh why would you do that? Why would you get closer and then scream again? I... Because it's Heavenly Host and it's scary and haunted? Ugh. Maybe they're not real. Yeah, okay. You fell into a school that doesn't exist anymore. Stop freaking out, Seiko. That, uh-oh. 
Oh. I hope you're a good spirit. New victims. Please be friendly. Please be like, uh, yeah, I fell down here too and I died and it was bad. Here's all the bad things that happened down here. It's like Dark Souls, you know? It's like when people leave messages that are like, watch out for that archer up ahead. I hope that's what he does. He's like, look out for the ghosts that aren't me. I'm a nice ghost and I'm not going to murder you. Yeah, see, he's going to be nice unless he's going to be like, and now I'm vengeful and evil. Whereas here, well, we know it's Heavenly Host. Um, and then... I like that his name is Asterix, also. Multiple planes of existence? Oh, wonderful. So is this like a version of the school that hadn't been demolished? Closed spaces. Right. Oh, God. Yes, there are. All of our friends are down here as well, and we're all victims and we're all gonna die. Uh, probably. I hope they're okay. Oh man, other people are going to have been pulled in from other places and other dimensions too, who are going to be evil and try to kill our faces. Yeah, hopefully they're not all dead. Ugh. We cannot meet them, no, why? Oh, because they're on a different plane of existence. Crap, is everyone on a different plane of existence? That would suck. Oh, damn. Yep. Yeah, okay, whatever, dude. Escape is nigh impossible, but at least you'll be able to die together. Oh my god, dude, That. thank you for the vote of confidence. Uh, that's kind of what he was saying. Yeah, why would Vengeful Spirits be after, like, anyone? I mean, I guess their school was on the grounds of the old school, of the Heavenly Host school, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess it's a Japanese ghost. It doesn't have to make sense. They just sort of kill indiscriminately. <laughs> uh, yeah. Live out your days together. Did you die alone, dude? I mean, obviously he died alone. That's pretty sad. He made me very sad, though, guy. Well, he keeps saying us, but it's just one dude. But that's sad that he didn't die with his friends. Uh. 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 Um, hello, girl. Do we? Or is this a good ghost? Please be a... Okay. Uh, where do, where do we go? Oh, okay. Or it's just gonna do it for me. Was she a bad ghost? She didn't seem that bad. She seemed okay. Wait, we came out of a different door. <laughs> I, I feel like she was writing a message to us, though. Like, something like, hey, here's a hint that will not get you murdered. Uh, yeah, child spirit, because it's Heavenly Host Elementary School. It did kind of glow. Well, now you do. It is totally happening. See, this is what you guys get for messing with the occult, you wackos. Uh, yeah, you both ran from the same thing, homie. Okay. Yeah, you guys are kind of screwed. Uh, I keep skipping some of the dialogue accidentally. I'm sorry, guys. Like I said, I don't know Japanese, so I don't know when they act when they're trailing off. If it's the end of just the first sentence or the second or the entire 
little uh, dialogue blur, but if you guys are listening in Japanese and understand Japanese, I'm very, very sorry. Otherwise, if I'm going too fast by scrolling through the text, like I said, I'm going through at the rate that I read things for the most part. If you guys need to pause it at any point, just please feel free to do so so that you can read the dialogue. All right. March on with our heads held high or something. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Let's go back into this creepy ghost room again. Oh, wait, that's... Oh, oh, hi. You are new. Okay. Yeah. Heaven's completely cut off. No paradise, no nirvana, just eternal pain. Good God. Dude, I feel really bad for you, Asterix Ghost. Dude, I'm so sorry. I feel terrible for him. What's this now? An unknown key. Oh, God. This is really picking up now. This is very creepy. Those chairs are still blocking the way, but at least we got the unknown key for the unknown door. So, do we have to find another board before we progress? Are you still up here, Ghosty Goo? Let's see what you have to... Oh, hi, Candle. Help me. Oh, now, with surround sound, that went from ear to ear. That is so terrifying. Judging by size, this appears to be the remains of a junior or senior high school student. Closer inspection reveals a school ID name tag. Misato Municipal Brotherhood Senior High School. So he's from a totally different... A totally different school. What did this little girl write? And by the way, is she gonna still... Dead bugs, neatly arranged. She's not... She didn't leave anything where she was standing. Uh-oh. Oh, long black hairs. Ooh, why? Yeah, you saw her start to write it, you dingus. Just a picture, right? Is it a picture or is it a... The image on the board depicts a figure holding a pair of scissors, pursuing four smaller figures. Good God, that's terrifying. Hello, candle. No, there was not always a candle there. I wonder what would have happened if I had gone down instead of up with the board. I hope that... I, I know that there's, like, multiple endings to this game, and I have a feeling, like I said in the last episode, that I, I'm not going to get all of them, or even the good endings. I have no idea. I'm going to do my damnedest, though. <laughs> oh, it's a save thing. Yeah, let's save the game, because if we die, I'll be sad. And the sa Now, normally when games give you save points, it means that you are about to die. <laughs> That there's there's going to be something that's going to be able to kill you very soon. Alright. No running in the halls. Any student caught running will be severely disciplined. Well, guess what? If I have the option, I'm going to run like a mother. Oh, the unknown key. Open this. Oh, oof. Why? What, what, what happened? Naomi, what's wrong? I don't know. It's like my heart skipped a beat as soon as the key was turned. Oh. What does it mean? Booty! Oh yeah, get that booty girl! Uh, I... Oh god, we're gonna die in here. We're gonna die. Good thing we got that save point, though. Hello, ghosty. Yes, another dead body. A message has been painstakingly scratched into the floor with fingernails. Oh god. Whatever you do, don't look at the newspaper. Okay, but I don't know. I'm really curious about the newspaper now. Can't we just take one little peek? Obviously, this is going to kill the shit out of us. Uh, what's this down here? I want this instead. Give me this. The candle's here, but it's unlit. Oh, dongs. Let's look at it. Breaking news, serial kidnapping ends in murder. The good name of Heavenly Host Elementary School has been stained in blood today. It's horrific details on the recent wave of disappearances are revealed. Over the past month, numerous children have gone missing within the town and authorities quickly turned to kidnapping is the most likely explanation. Now, investigators have located the whereabouts of these children. Their findings are far worse than anyone could have anticipated. The bodies of the absconded youths were discovered within the Heavenly Host Elementary School building on September 18, 1973. At 73? Holy crap! At 7 p.m., authorities further revealed that a male instructor from the school was found with them alive but near catatonic, holding a pair of bloodied scissors. Damn! The scissor ghost guy again, or murderer. Each of the corpse appeared to have had its tongue severed and removed. 
something 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 IQU probably unique mutilations far more grotesque something to describe page is torn at this point in the bottom half of the article is nowhere to be found how awful I think I heard about this though once before not me but I guess it did happen long before we were born so I shouldn't be too surprised oh I'm sorry I'm doing the thing where I'm reading again damn it the door slammed we're so fucked we are so fucked in the ass we oh god we're gonna die any second Oh, I'm really freaked out now. The door seems to be fixed like a doll wall decoration. We are fucked. Okay, don't... Yeah, I get it. Don't look at the newspaper, and we already did. Oh, Let me out, let me out, let me out. Oh, uh, we're dead. We are so fucked in the ass. We're so dead. How do we get out? What do we do? Oh, God. Did we read this again? Heavenly Post. You will never leave this room. Good. Oh god. Oh god, we can't get out. We're dead. We're so dead. Ah, we're gonna die. Ah, I'm so scared. Some shit's gonna happen, and it's gonna be a jump scare, and it's gonna scare the fuck out of my butt. I'm gonna. I'm. Ugh. Let me out. Yeah, yeah, I got that part. How the. F what do we do? Do we have items? We don't have items. Oh, we're dead. We're so dead. We're so fucked. Ah! Uh, help! Let me out! Ah! Uh, I don't like the ghosty noises in the background either. It's scary. Hello, candle? Help! Ah! I don't know what to do. I'm just kind of waiting here. You're a stupid, stupid... Oh, God. There's no way out. What do we do? Probably get murdered by Scissors Ghost Man. This is your fault, you know. Actually, it's my fault. Actually, she's kind of looking at the screen. This is my fault. Oh, we're dead. We're so dead. Just never mind. Oh. Can we leave? Please? Did we live? That scared the crap out of me, too, Seiko. What are you doing? Hold up. Oh, no, no, no. It's... What's gone? You dummy. How do you lose that? I wonder if the the scrap of paper actually protects them, and if they lose it, then they get super murdered. Must have fallen out somewhere. Oh, are we, I bet we're going to get a bad ending now. I bet she's going to die. I bet she's going to die because she lost her scrap of paper like a dumb idiot fool. And now there's no way for her to live ever again. So let's... I'm going to use a candle, but I'm going to make a separate save now. Because obviously something funky just happened there. And I don't know if, you know, Seiko's going to live now. She's probably going to die. Um, and I kind of want to let everyone live. I want to help everybody survive. But... Who knows what's going to happen? What is this? Admit it, you hate all your friends. Eventually, you'll kill one another. That's a nice message. What is the noise? What is the noise when we like step on things? It's like flies buzzing or something. Oh. Is this like happening to us? Oh my. I don't know what the hell that is. It's horrifying. Yes. Thrown to the other end of the hall at superhuman speed. Good God. It does look like someone got splatted like a tomato. Yeah. It smells so meaty. Oh, God. Are you going to eat this? Oh, she barfing. Ugh. Oh god. Yeah, let's get the hell out of Let's get the hell out of here. Infirmary the door is locked. Okay. Well, so far Oh, going down. Always a good thing, right? You know, going down into the deep dark creepy ass basement. Look at all these human remains and shit. Several crumpled sheets of paper on the floor next to the body. They seem to have been dropped by the victim at the time of death. 
We four noble musketeers begin today. Let's meet behind the main gate after school. Koito. I'm in classroom 5A. Everybody's fine. Uh, Yuzua, come join us. Asuka. Hello, human remains. The mostly bleached skeletal remains of the female student lie sprawled across the floor. Loose bones and scraps of clothing are dangling from a hole in the ceiling above the body, suggesting she, suggesting she fell to her death from the second floor. Wonderful! Upon closer inspection, there's a student ID name tag attached to what's left of her uniform. Seisai Academy, or Sai Sai Academy for Girls, Class 1-2, Yuzua Mikami. So she's the Yuzua that was being talked about in the scrap of paper. And actually, guys, that's about the end of, uh, I, I believe this is what should be the end of the episode, just due to the fact that we are running out of time. Um, and we went through, obviously, something very, very creepy in that other room there. Like I said, I have no idea if that screwed over Seiko now that she's lost her piece of paper or if that was something we had to do to progress the story. Either way, I'm glad that I made that separate save point because if I just screwed everything, I'm not happy about it. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to hit the like button, share the video, and favorite it. Also, be sure to subscribe to me if you guys haven't already. For those of you who have, thank you so much for all of your support. You guys are the best in the world. I love every single one of you, and as always, it was great seeing you. Bye-bye.